Okay, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I like to add a lower third title to. Now, let's begin by selecting the text tool, then click in the preview where you want your text and type it out. Typically, the name goes on top and the person's title on the bottom. Once you're happy with your text, drag to select it with the text tool, and then go over to effect controls. In here, click this arrow next to text to expand its settings. Now you can do things like change the font. I'll set mine to Babe is New. You'll also probably want to increase your text size by using the slider. With lower thirds, the first line of text is usually bigger, so let's use a text tool to drag and select only the top part of our text. Now we can use the sizing slider to increase its size independently. Okay, from here on, we'll be editing both lines of text together, so let's select the selection tool, which will allow us to do that easily. Back in effect controls, click the background checkbox if you'd like to give your lower thirds a background. And click the colored rectangle next to it to change its color. I'll set mine to a shade of red. The second slider under background can be used to increase the size of your background. This is looking good, so let's reposition it to the side by simply dragging it with the selection tool in the preview. Okay, next let's give this a sliding animation. In Effect Controls, first make sure the playhead is positioned at the start of your text clip. Then, near the bottom of the text section, find the position setting, which is what we'll be using for this animation. Drag the position's first value to the left until your lower third is just off the screen. Then click the stopwatch next to position to create a keyframe which will act as a starting point for our animation. Now move the playhead to where you want your lower third to fully appear on your screen by, and drag the position's first value to the right to move the lower third back onto the screen. Doing this will create a second keyframe which will act as the ending point for the animation. And now when we play this back, our lower third slides onto the screen. If you'd like to speed up the animation, just drag the second keyframe closer to the first one. Okay, moving on, let's slide our lower third back out of the shot once we're done showing it. For this, move the playhead to when you want to start sliding it back out. Then click the little circle button between these two arrows to make a keyframe for the current position. This way, Premiere knows we want to start animating it back out. Finally, select the first keyframe and copy it using Ctrl C. Then move the playhead to when you want the lower third fully out of the shot and use Ctrl V to paste it at that position. This time when we play it back, it slides back out once it's done being shown. For a finishing touch, let's smooth out the animation by dragging to select our first two keyframes, then right click one of them, hover over Temporal Interpolation, and select Ease In. Then select the last two keyframes, right click one of them, hover over Temporal Interpolation, and this time select Ease Out. When we play it back now, our lower third slides in and out with a smoother animation. But yeah, that's it for this tutorial. So as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.